Assalamualaikum everyone. Hi, I'm here with Aria today, my little one. And we went blackberry picking the other day. Basically what I did with these blackberries is soak them in some vinegar and water and then I'm give them a good wash as you know bugs and stuff can be in them. But what we decided to do today was make some blackberry and yeah. strawberry jam. But I don't like making blackberry jam on its own because it can be really tart. So we're gonna mix it with some strawberries to make blackberry and a strawberry jam. But this one is a delicious recipe that you can do at home with your kids. Summer holidays, something free. You can go blackberry picking, pick a bunch of blackberries and make this jam. Hope you enjoy the video. So to get started with our jam. Yeah. Large pot, so we've got 400 grams of blackberries. And you can scale this recipe up and down depending on um, how many you manage to pick. Right, so we've got 400 grams of washed blackberries in our pot. Yum. Ooh, cold. So we have, how many grams? 350 grams of frozen strawberries, which we're going to add. So let's chop that pack up. You don't need to like cut them or anything, it's fine. Because these are going to cook down. Okay. Yeah. So that makes 750 grams of fruit. So I'm going to start by adding 250 grams of sugar and taste it and then we'll see from there if we want to add more because I don't want it too sweet. Add, you put it in. How much vanilla should we put in? About two mm. tablespoons? Squeeze it and I'll tell you when to stop. So whilst you're putting the sugar in, tell us a bit about blackberry picking and what you did. When you go blackberry picking, you have to be very careful because of the thorns, they could prick you, so you have to, like, be careful on moving them. So if you go out with kids, you're going to have to, like, sometimes, like, lift up the branches for them. So... But they're quite easy to pick. Okay, do you recommend taking gloves and wearing long sleeves or something like that? Yes, yeah. that's what we did. Yeah. We didn't wear any gloves, but we did have long sleeves on. Ah. Okay. I think that might take a long time. Let me just pour it in. Yeah. You tell me when to stop. Okay. What did it need to be at? 250. Okay. 250. 250. Oh, it actually got exactly 250. <laughs> exactly 250. Right, okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put this, we've got all our ingredients in here. Yep. And we're going to put it on the stove and we're going to put it on a high heat first until it starts bubbling. Then we'll reduce it down to a low and then allow it to simmer for a bit and then we'll check to see what else we need to put in there. It actually smells so good. Let's bung it in the stove. Okay, so Aria, I'm going to give you a spatula. Thank you. Right, just be careful. Do you want to get the stool over there and then you can be higher and then it'll be easier for you to mix Yeah, I'll get it. You want to just carefully mix the sugar and the berries together. Mmm, the juice is like going into the sugar. Oh, it's steaming. I can see the sides are steaming. I don't really need to add any water because the strawberries are frozen. But if they weren't frozen now, we'll probably add a little bit of water, like half a cup of water just to cold water. it along. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Cold water will not even matter. Berries will start to release liquid. And at this point, all we need to do is reduce the heat to a low, pop the lid on and let it simmer. For about 10 minutes and we're just going to mix it in between whilst it's simmering. Looks so stick. good. Whilst that's simmering away, we're going to juice. What I want you to do first is I want you to put your hand on the lemon and I want you to roll it hard like this so that that helps release the juices. That's it. Okay, that should be fine. So let's cut the lemon in half. He's an angry okay, lemon. So you want to use a lemon juicer. This is like an orange juicer, basically the same thing. Yeah, so if you hold it like this, and then squeeze it round and round like this and all the juice should come out. That's it, there you go, the hand bit. Well done. Ah, oh, so juicy. Le the lemon juice basically just helps it from like going off quicker. Oh really? It's I don't know. Acid, I thought it was just to make it like a bit more flavorful. No, 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 it's, it's to do with the keeping it for longer periods. Well, well, there's a new and fact if you get like, like that. Gives it a bit of like freshness as well. There's a new fact, if you never know. Juice of one lemon, which we're gonna add in at the end. It's gonna mash up the strawberries a little bit. Yeah. That's a good thing. That's my thumbs up. 
I'm gonna increase the heat now uh, to like a medium. I'm just gonna let it simmer with the lid off. Hot. So all the fruit breaks down. And it Can you see it thicken. steaming? Yeah. Keep an eye on it and uh, it'll thicken as it keeps reducing. Just make sure you stir it regularly so it doesn't stick and it to your pan. Delicious. Okay, okay, so our jam is ready. This is what it looks like. Mm. So you know it's ready when if you put it on the back of a spoon and you let it cool for a bit and you can run your finger through it and it leaves a line. So that means it's like setting off basically. But if you overcook it then it's just gonna turn into like mush sweets, like you know, really elasticy and hard. So you don't want to overcook it. So what we're gonna do now is careful that pot's hot. So we're gonna add that lemon juice in. Okay. Okay, and then you're just gonna give that a mix. Just be careful what you wanna get your stool. I think I'll be fine. Okay. We've got a clean jar, and we're gonna put our jam in the jar. Let's cool down a little bit now. And as you can see it's set a little bit, but it'll set more in the fridge. Scrub it in. Oh my god, it's so satisfying. Mmm. It looks delicious. Ah, it's gonna spit everywhere. Right, I think maybe we need to try a different approach. Let me taste. Mmm, that is so nice. Mm. Obviously, if you wanted to, you could sieve all the seeds out. And uh, if you don't like them, make it less chunkier as well. I by just mashing swallow it them. a bit more. Just clean the sides of the jar. Probably stick a little label on this and pop it in the fridge. And that's our blackberry and strawberry jam. All my friends at home, please watch this. Mm, this is so good. How, what would you rate it out of 10? 9.50. Billion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you like this video, don't forget to like and comment and share.